Hey, fairy friends, how you doing today? Let's get it. All right. So these are going to be just some quick little readings. Um, so let's get it. All right, let's see what energies we're dealing with today. Conclusions are within reach. Okay, brilliant. Let's get some tarot, okay? Conclusions are within reach. Let's see what you're dealing with. We do have Ten of Pentacles on the bottom, so it could be money concerns. But let's pull a fresh one. Conclusions are within reach. Okay. Okay. So... Hmm. You might find out that somebody you thought was a good investment, so to speak. And I saw the Queen of Wands, so this could be a friend, even like a friendship or even a business partner. You're, somebody you thought was a, quote, good investment, um, you're going to realize that this person um, does not have your best interests in mind. This person only cares about themselves. So they're actually not a good person for you to get emotionally or financially or even intellectually invested in. And why aren't they good? What, what's going on here? Yeah, because they walk away too quickly. Somebody may even get pregnant. Somebody just is not, um, somebody's not reliable is what I'm, is what I'm picking up. Somebody may even, may even get pregnant just so that they have an excuse to flake on you. Okay. Somebody's a flake. That's what I'm picking up big time here. All right. Let's see if we can get another card. You're going to learn this though. You're going to figure this out. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be an Aries. Energy is gaining momentum. All right. What more do we need on this situation? Whoever this Queen of Wands is. Scorpio. Okay. Work through your fears. So you could just be afraid of being alone. What do you need to release? Yeah, that fear. You just might be afraid of doing things on your own. Um, you may think you constantly need to have a partner or a friend or somebody to bounce stuff off of, but really you don't because, um, it sounds like people take advantage of your desire to, uh, to couple up, right? Your desire to work with them. They, or this person in particular, you're going to find out, knows that you're insecure about doing things on your own. And with the Queen of Wands, I want to say it's a feminine. That's why she flakes on you so readily because she knows that she can more or less get what she wants. Maybe it's a payout. Maybe it's some clout. Maybe it's just an idea that she's going to take and apply to her own business without you. You need to learn to... Um, Really, uh, you're definitely dealing with a Scorpio, or this is a Scorpio reading. Uh, you need to learn to conquer your fear of being independent because you are, yeah, business wise. Yeah, see, only one shop owner, only one witch in that shop. Okay, only one witch in that shop. And I'm picking up this is a Scorpio reading too. Okay. So, it's a water sign thing. You know, sometimes water signs get, get codependent. And here's the devil turning up here with the queen of pentacles. So, somebody, somebody is more interested in taking advantage of you than they are actually helping you, actually being your partner. Um, I'm really picking up this is a business. Yes, look at this. Look at this again. Yeah, see? See? This is you and this is the person, but the person, they come like they're going to help, but they're not there to help. They're just there to take, okay? But I hope this helps. <laughs>